Oh, stop my friggin' heart. Mm, mm, mm. There he is. Come to Papa. Thank you, sweetie. Mr. Redfish, thank you very much. Oh, splash me, all right. That was crazy, the way he hit that. That was crazy. <clears throat> crazy. Come here, buddy. Let's talk about it. God. That ain't bad. Smacking the waker. Good cloudy day. Good wind. Gets their attention. Makes them mad. Thanks for the bite, Boba. Off you go. Good one. <laughs> Boy, you talk about shallow. Do you see where that fish was laying up there by that grass? Now he's not as big as I thought he was, but he looked big because he was in such shallow water. There he is. Uh, hello, Bubba. Oh, yeah, come here. Come here, you mean dog. You mean dog. Pretty nice. Oh, look at the color on that guy. Copper tone. Been up in this grass for a while. Capitone. 
copper tongue redfish. Wow, what a pretty color. That's a trout. That's a decent one too. Yes sir. Nothing wrong with that. That's about the third or fourth of them I've had hit that bait. But uh, they're not real. I don't know what it is. Waker's a really, really good redfish bait, but trout will hit it, but not, not like they will other baits. See you, buddy. There he is. Good one. Oh, baby. There's probably more in here. Oh, yeah. Boy, he hammered it, too. It's a big old fish. Got you, Bubba. I got you. Ooh, it's a pretty one. Nice big old fish here. Very nice. Very, very nice. Thanks for the battle. See ya. <laughs> Off you go. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, he did a slow roll on it. And ate it. Slow roll and ate it. Deep water, too. Holy Jesus, that's a friggin' trout. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, and look at that. It came off in the net. Holy crap. Oh, man. We got lucky, boys. I thought that was... I thought that was weird strike. For a redfish. Yeah. That's a stud right there. I mean, genuine. There's a gorilla on the waker. Wow. That is a real live trout right there. Son. He just come up and just did a kind of a slurp. I thought it was a weird strike, but I thought it was a redfish too, the way it fought. But man, that's a freaking dandy right there. 
I, I really appreciate it. See ya. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. Man, did you see that strike? Woo! He moved a lot of water, buddy. He moved a lot of water. Oh, there he goes. That's a big old fish. Get this boat stopped. Oh, look at this thing go. He came all the way to the boat, and now he is a mile out there. Oh, that's a big old fish. mad at that waker. Get away from that motor. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Take me for a ride. Take me for a ride. Underneath the boat. Come here. Come here, let's talk about it. Buddy, I'm gonna turn you loose. I'm gonna turn you loose. Oh, that's a big old fish, boy. That's a big old, big old, big one. Big old, good one. Good old, big one. As they say. Okay, Bucho boy, you ready? Uh, you ready? Oh yeah, he's ready. See ya. Okay, let's talk about what we caught these fish on. We had our top water set up, which is our 7.6 Ducket, medium heavy. Our Daiwa Tatula. CT100 Type R, 40-pound uh, Power Pro braid, and our man's waker. Lure. We had perfect conditions for topwater fishing. We had a good stiff wind. We had clouds. And we had a barometer that was slipping a little bit. And on those days, top water's hard to beat. <clears throat> Let's talk about this man's waker and why everybody should have one of these in their tackle box. Besides the fact that it catches fish, <clears throat> this is a, a great search bait. And by search bait, I mean that you can go, I, it doesn't really matter what the weather conditions are. You can take this bait and just start throwing it. And you're going to find out what's there. And the reason for that is because this thing is going to, will draw a reaction really no matter what the weather is. Now they won't eat it every day uh, and you won't catch them on it every day. But you can go through an area and throw this and redfish and trout will both react to it. They'll follow it or they'll boil at it. You can you can find out what's in that area. Uh, if you drift through there 
and they're not hitting it, then you know it's not going to be it's not going to be that kind of day. So you just switch lures, go to subsurface, go to soft plastic, uh, whatever. But uh, I use it a lot as a search bait. But when conditions are right, they're going to eat it. Uh, it's not a great trout bait. I'm going to say that right off the bat. It is a great redfish bait. Uh, it's just uh, trout. I mean, you catch some trout on it. You've seen me catch one big one on it today. But uh, that's the only big one I've ever caught on it. I've caught some smaller ones. Uh, there's just something about the about the action and everything else that that they get you get a lot of reactions from trout but you don't catch a lot of trout on it uh, the other thing about this bait and and I use it a lot this time of year is this is one of the few treble hook baits that'll go through that floating grass pretty good and the reason for that is this is this really really fat body and big bill uh, as it's going through there these these treble hooks fold up and they're kind of protected behind the body and the bill so I mean you'll still pick up some grass every now and then but <clears throat> it'll go through there pretty good and this time of year we've always got a lot of grass floating grass but anyway it was a good day caught some nice fish and uh, thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.